हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी इफ यू हैवन डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस इलेवन प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम चैप्टर फोर एंड द प्रॉब्लम सीज दैट द टो लाइन एक्सर्ट अ फोर्स ऑफ सिक्स किलो न्यूटन एट द एंड ऑफ द एट मीटर लॉन्ग क्रेन बूम इफ थीटा इक्व टू थर्टी डिग्री डिटर्मिन द प्लेसमेंट एक्स ऑफ द हुक एट पी so that this force creates a maximum moment about point o what is this moment so we are given this uh, system of uh, tow line and crane right so we want to find this x for which the moment of this 6 kN uh, about that point o need to be maximum so first of all we can find that maximum moment so let me write that the maximum moment about that point o let me write that moment about o max so that moment will be maximum if this 6 kN force is perpendicular to this o a arm so that will be the maximum force uh, maximum moment about that point o so we can apply that force uh, so this uh, force is p and this p need to be perpendicular with the o a arm and which is the moment arm right so we can write that p perpendicular is 6 kN multiply by that d and that d is that o a arm so o a arm is 8 so this gives us 48 and the units of this is in kN so this is kN meter so this is that maximum moment now we need to find this x value right it is said that determine the placement x of the hook at b so we have to find the location of the hook so that this force creates a maximum moment so if this p is perpendicular so let me draw that uh, moment arm that moment arm is from o to a so this is that moment arm from o to a and this force p need to be perpendicular so now let's say that this is our force p this is the line of action of that force p which is perpendicular right so this is that force p and this force p need to be perpendicular now i will draw just a line so let's say that this is that line of action of that force p which is perpendicular right so so this is the line of action of that force p which is perpendicular now if i draw a horizontal line since the this is the location of point o so this will intersect this uh, line of action of that force p that force p need to be acting along this line so this will be our p force if if it is going to produce the maximum moment so then we can say that this is not the placement point for the hook the placement point for the hook on the ground will be somewhere here right if i join this line so this is our ground so that will be our placement point so this is our point b location now we have to find this x distance this uh, placement of the hook which is from uh, this point o to that point b right we have to find this x this is our new x right this is required so this will be from from here to here let me place it here this is that x which is required so now if we draw this as a free body diagram let me uh, draw the ground as well this is our ground surface like this so now if i isolate uh, this as a free body diagram now this will be our free body diagram right so this is this is the x which is required from this point o this is our point o and this is that point a where the p force is acting and let's say this is point p so op is the uh, is the hypotenuse of this triangle if we consider this oap so let's say this hypotenuse is x dash and as we know that this o a arm is the length of this right which is 8 meter this is given 
and if I drop a perpendicular from this point P, let's say if I drop a perpendicular like this, so then this distance is let's say this distance is let's say x day x double dash and as we know that uh, this height the location of this point o from the surface is one meters right the perpendicular distance of this point o from that surface is one meter so i will write that this height is one meter and now the angle is given this angle is 30 degrees so this is 30 degrees so now we have to find this x and as we can see from this free body diagram that x is equal to this x dash plus x double dash so we can write that x is equal to x dash plus x double dash and as we can see if we consider this oap triangle then the the cos component of x dash is equal to 8 meters right we can say that x dash cos of 30 is equal to 8 meters we can write that x dash cos of 30 degrees is equal to 8 meters and this is from triangle from right angle triangle that is O A P. So now from this we can write that x dash is 8 divided by cos of 30 degrees. Now we know x dash so let me write that x dash this is 8 divided by cos of 30 degrees. Now we have to find this x dash so for that we have to consider this triangle. Now if I extend this line if I extend this line if this is 30 degrees this is 90 degrees so this must be 60 degrees since the angles of a triangle the sum of the angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 so this is 30 plus 90 so this is 120 and 180 minus 120 is 60 so this angle is 60 so if this is 60 then this angle is also 60 degrees and as we can see that this whole angle is 90 so if this is 60 then this is 30 degrees so this angle is 30 degrees. So now we need to find this x double dash. So if I, let's say that this point is P dash. So if I apply tan theta to this P, P dash and B triangle, we have that triangle like that. Let me try it here. So this is that point P, this is P dash. And this is that point B, this angle is 30. This is that x double dash and this is 1 meter. So now if we apply tan theta to this triangle, so we can write that uh, tan theta is equal to perpendicular which is x double dash divided by the base which is 1. So from this we can say that tan theta is equal to x double dash and theta is 30, right? This angle is 30. So tan 30 is equal to x double dash divided by 1 or we can say that tan 30 is equal to x double dash. So now we can write that plus tan 30 x double dash is tan 30. So this will give us the placement of the hook for which this 6 kN force is going to produce the maximum moment if the angle is theta. So now that x is 8 divided by cos of 30 plus tan 30. So this gives us 9.815 approximately 9.815 meters so this is that x which was required for this particular case in order to have the moment the maximum moment of magnitude equal to 48 kilonewton meter about that point o so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy if you haven't done it yet